WPRA Rodeo on YouTube, and then this American Qualifier. And what is with women using a dressage whip? Like, hitting the shoulder or just, like, hitting the horse after they've already knocked the whole way home with a dressage whip, with a, which, like, you can do, like, a whip every single stride. So that's, like, a thousand whips that you're, like, smacking your horse. And I'm, like, you already knocked. And, like, the one girl, like, whipped the horse's shoulder going to third and then she went, like, 20 feet by. And it's, like, what are you doing? Why are you using a dressage whip? Why'd you whip all the way home when you already hit third? Or, like, you blew by it by, like, a mile? Like, why are you gonna whip your horse? What's your motive? Like, what's the point? And I'm using my hand, but you don't even see it. But I'm like, what doing? Why? This is just a response that I'm thinking about a comment I got and it's saying about tearing people down and only picking out the negative. Well, I like to think that this page is like a lot of positivity and just acceptance and trying our best and just taking that for what it is and knowing we can always do better. So in regard to that, I just think that you can't deny certain things. The only reason something's positive and good is because there's also a negative as well. And whipping your horses excessively like is one of those things where we can pretend like it's not happening but it is just because it's negative we shouldn't we shouldn't ignore it and that's kind of my point where if something bad is happening we can't just ignore and be like oh think positive be positive only bring people up only lift people up and yes of course but at the same time we have to acknowledge when things are also going wrong and bring awareness to that and when I was saying that little rant it was genuinely bothering me watching that and I mean I'm just an observer I'm definitely not in the WPRA I just watch and I observe and I learn from other people and that's how we can educate ourselves so by watching and observing I just noticed that and I was like what is happening because I thought those people were you know like the best of the best and when I see something that doesn't look right like, it just didn't sit well with me, and that's why I made the video. That's why I wanted to share it, because it's just informing. It's information that I've gathered by watching. I'm not tearing it down. I'm just stating a fact of what I saw as an observer. So, let's learn from it. Like, it's not a big deal. We learn from things, good or bad, in our lives. So, this was something that wasn't ideal. I'm not tearing anybody down, but I can learn from it. And I hope that you can do the same. And notice when things just don't look right. And don't ignore it. Bring attention to it and try and fix it. Try and change it or just make it so it doesn't happen as often. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.